Welcome to the future, or at least the future of State of Survival, and indirectly my own future. Like the amount of time that you guys ask me, will I quit State of Survival, will I keep playing State of Survival? And honestly, I think it's a good question, and maybe a question that needs to be addressed on camera. Do I still enjoy State of Survival as much as I did a year ago? Fuck no, I don't. Are there days where I think about quitting? abso fucking lootly. I'm quite sure I wouldn't play the game anymore if it wasn't for YouTube. I want to dive deeper into my future later down the video, but now I mostly want to talk about the future of State of Survival itself. State of Survival has always been a game with a shit ton of events and almost weekly to monthly updates. And honestly, that will never change. I wouldn't be surprised to see a second gen behemoth, because that makes the most sense to me. They're already trying a second behemoth in your second march, and and I think this is to test the balance of the behemoths. The question is not if a second behemoth is coming, the question for me is when. And I think it will be rather sooner than later. The focus on tigers has been huge in the past few months, which could possibly mean a behemoth in one march and a tiger in the second march. And will this even affect Fight. battle that much? The gap is huge already. Another gap doesn't make much difference. Or does it? Make sure to let me know in the comments what you think. Something completely different, but still kind of the same, is the release of new heroes. It's clear that State of Survival is following the trend of limitless heroes, and I think we will go all the way through Gen 12. Now it seems like resonating heroes aren't completely out of the picture yet, given the fact that they just released a new resonating hero. And ever since then, I started wondering if State of Survival would do another collaboration. The question for me is, if State of Survival still has the money to pull off such a big collaboration. And if there's enough demand from the players to do something like that. As Godzilla mentioned in his documentary series, the Daryl collaboration was very successful and brought in a lot of new players, but the Joker collaboration was somewhat of a flop. It costed State of Survival an insane amount of money and the results weren't as good as they initially expected. So State of Survival is in a very tough spot with this one. You either try to boost downloads again with a new collaboration or you don't. I think it's definitely a risk for them and maybe even a little gamble and I don't think they are willing to take that gamble. One gamble you should absolutely take is buying your bundles through Paxify. Buying bundles has never been this easy and cheap thanks to their great service. With their fast onboarding system you can literally start today. Check out the link in the description if you are interested and thank you Paxify for sponsoring this video. So my future. For the past couple months I haven't been enjoying making content as much as I used to but my mental health and my physical health took quite a big hit and I came to the conclusion that I can no longer live like this. You might have noticed that the videos have been different. In all honesty, they are what I want to make, what I want to create for you guys. I want to make you laugh when you see my videos. I want to make you smile, I want to give you a good feeling. And I don't think I have been able to do that with State of Survival. This, however, does not mean that I will quit State of Survival because I know most of you guys are subscribed for State of Survival content. But I do want to discover new games, try new things, and honestly, just let my creativity flow. I have some new games on my radar, and I've been talking a lot with Godzilla and Wackorash Gaming, and we would love to form an alliance in the new game Call of Dragons. Anyways, have a wonderful day, thank you for watching, and bye!